Earlier this month, Saudi Arabia was asked if they would stop supporting China's tech sector if the U.S. asked them to. The answer was affirmed. Yes, Saudi Arabia called America their number one partner in the AI sector. However, just three weeks later, Saudi Arabia is investing in Jipu Ai, China's homegrown startup and rival to openize dominance in the world. This investment raises questions about what changed and what happened to the U.S. partnership with Saudi Arabia. It appears Riyadi is trying to get the best of both worlds. While America may be ahead in the AI race, China is quickly catching up. And Saudi Arabia seems to want to have its cake and eat it too. Saudi Arabia's bold and brazen move to help China circumvent U.S. sanctions marks a seismic shift in global power dynamics. In an unprecedented act of defiance, the kingdom has chosen to side with Beijing, pouring billions into China's burgeoning AI industry. This move is effectively a slap in the face to American efforts to hinder Chinese advancements. This controversial alliance isn't just a financial gamble, it's a political statement, signaling a new world order, where the U.S. is no longer the unchallenged leader. Saudi Arabia's investment in Zipu II, China's answer to open eyes chat G, is a direct challenge to Silicon Valley's supremacy. It signals to the world that the era of U.S. technological hegemony might be nearing its end. The U.S. has attempted to flex its economic muscles, imposing stringent sanctions and trying to stifle China's tech ambitions. However, Saudi Arabia's actions reveal a glaring crack in America's armor. By aligning with China, the kingdom is not just undermining U.S. sanctions, but also openly criticizing Washington's heavy-handed tactics. The message is clear. The global South is no longer willing to be a pawn in America's geopolitical chess game. Stay with us as we delve deeper into this explosive development and unravel the intricate web of geopolitics, technology, and economic strategy that underpins this daring move. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right, please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Saudi Arabia has chosen to align with China a move seen as a significant shift in geopolitical alliances. By investing in China's burgeoning artificial intelligence sector, Saudi Arabia has effectively undermined U.S. sanctions intended to stymie China's technological advancements. This controversial decision has sparked intense debate and criticism from various quarters, particularly from the U.S. government and its allies, a Saudi Arabian investment fund, Prosperity 7, which is a part of the state-owned oil group Aramco's venture capital arm, has made a substantial investment in Zipu AI, one of China's leading generative artificial intelligence startups. This $400 million investment, valuing Zipu AI at approximately $3 billion, marks the first significant foreign investment in China's AI sector amidst U.S. restrictions. Previously, China's AI I sector had relied heavily on domestic funding due to U.S. sanctions, making Prosperity 7's involvement a notable exception. Zipu AI, along with its competitors Moonshot IE, Minimax, and One, had been primarily supported by Chinese government funds and large local cloud providers. The investment from Prosperity 7 signifies a strategic move by Saudi Arabia to support a tech ecosystem capable of challenging U.S. dominance in the AI industry. This sentiment was echoed by sources close to the fund, indicating Saudi Arabia's desire to see an industry not dominated by Silicon Valley. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The US has imposed stringent restrictions on investments in China's AI sector and tightened export controls on advanced chips used for AI. Development Historically, major global tech investors like SoftBank and Tiger Global have supported earlier Chinese AI, I bet notably those focused on surveillance technologies. However, they have largely stayed away from the current wave of generative AI. I startups due to these restrictions for Chinese AI companies. Attracting foreign investment offers a pathway to new markets beyond China, where companies traditionally pay less for enterprise services. The investment from Saudi Arabia is part of a broader strategy involving collaboration between Saudi state investors and Chinese tech firms seeking new capital and customer bases. Recently, Lenovo, a major Chinese PC manufacturer, announced it would issue $2 billion in convertible bonds to Alat, a subsidiary of Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. In return, 
Lenovo will establish its regional headquarters in Riyadh and construct a manufacturing plant in Saudi Arabia. This move is part of a larger trend of Saudi investors imposing stringent requirements on their tech investments. Companies like SenseTime, Tencent Cloud, and MyChuan are also expanding their presence in Saudi Arabia. Simultaneously, the U.S. has been ramping up pressure on countries to cease their support for China's tech sector through investments or the export of advanced technologies. This was evident when the Abu Dhabi based Ada, an investment firm, Key 42, divested its stakes in Chinese tech companies like ByteDance under U.S. pressure. Following this divestment, G42 received a $1.5 billion investment from Microsoft. Despite these pressures, Saudi Arabia's engagement with China's aid. I sector highlights a complex interplay of geopolitical interests. Amit Middle, CEO of Alot, indicated a willingness to divest from China if necessary, acknowledging the significant influence of the U.S. on Saudi Arabia's tech investments. He emphasized that the U.S. remains the kingdom's primary partner in market for II chips and the semiconductor industry. Zipu II, headquartered in Beijing's Haidian district, is the largest Chinese generative aid. I start up by staff, boasting over 800 employees. The company has previously secured funding from Alibaba Cloud, Tencent, Michuan, and state investors like the National Social Security Fund, its core product, and AI in a box. Solution allows companies to deploy large language models with AI processors and other hardware on their premises, ensuring greater data protection. In May, Jipu's founder, Tang Jue, a former Tsinghua University computer science professor, participated in a Prosperity 7 investment forum in Beijing. The event included a performance by humanoid robots dressed in traditional Arab thobs, symbolizing the cultural and technological exchange between Saudi Arabia and China. Prosperity 7 has a diverse investment team with members in Saudi Arabia, China, and the U.S. over the past four years. Its presence in China has grown to about a dozen team members, in contrast to other global funds that have reduced their operations in the country. This strategic expansion underscores Saudi Arabia's commitment to fostering technological partnerships with China, potentially reshaping the global AI landscapes. This development raises questions about the future of global AI. I competition and the effectiveness of U.S. sanctions as Saudi Arabia deepens its ties with China. The geopolitical implications extend beyond technology, touching on economic and strategic alliances that could redefine the balance of power in the tech industry. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. The intricate web of geopolitical maneuvering between Saudi Arabia, China, and the U.S. reveals much about the current state of global alliances and technological competition. Saudi Arabia's decision to invest in China's AI sector, particularly in Zipu IA, serves as a bold statement against U.S. sanctions and a bid to diversify its technological partnerships. This move is a calculated risk that could yield significant dividends if China's AI advancements continue to progress at their current pace. For the U.S., these developments are seen as a direct challenge to its technological and economic hegemony. The sanctions imposed by the U.S. were designed to curb China's rapid growth in AI and high-tech industries, but the involvement of a key ally like Saudi Arabia complicates these efforts. Washington has long relied on its network of alliances to enforce its strategic objectives, and Saudi Arabia's pivot towards China could signify a shift in the balance of influence in the Middle East and beyond. Prosperity 7's investment is not just a financial transaction. It is a clear signal of Saudi Arabia's intentions to become a pivotal player in the global tech landscape. This ambition is evident in the Kingdom's Vision 2030 plan, which aims to reduce its dependence on oil by fostering growth in other sectors, including technology. By aligning with China, Saudi Arabia is positioning itself as a key hub for technological innovation, potentially attracting more investments and partnerships from other nations. Looking to bypass U.S. restrictions, the presence of major Chinese tech firms in Saudi Arabia also highlights a growing economic interdependence. Companies like SenseTime and Tencent Cloud are establishing a foothold in the kingdom, which not only benefits from Saudi capital, but also gains access to new markets in the Middle East. This symbiotic relationship is likely to deepen as both nations seek to counterbalance U.S. dominance in the tech industry. The response from the U.S. has been one of increased pressure and caution. The case of G42, 
The Abu Dhabi-based AI firm underscores the lengths to which the U.S. will go to ensure compliance with its sanctions regime by pressuring G42 to divest from Chinese tech companies. The U.S. has demonstrated its willingness to leverage economic influence to maintain strategic advantages. This approach, however, has its limits, especially when other major economies like Saudi Arabia are willing to challenge it. Saudi Arabia's engagement with Chinese A. I firms can also be seen as a strategic diversification of its investment by not putting all its eggs in the U.S. basket. The kingdom is hedging its bets against potential future conflicts or economic downturns in the West. This diversification strategy is prudent. Given the unpredictable nature of global politics and economics, it ensures that Saudi Arabia remains relevant and influential regardless of the prevailing geopolitical winds. The larger implications of this investment are profound. It suggests a possible future where the global tech industry is no longer dominated by a single power block, but is instead characterized by a multipolar distribution of technological capabilities. This scenario could lead to increased competition and innovation, benefiting consumers and businesses worldwide. However, it could also lead to fragmented standards and protocols, complicating international cooperation and integration in the tech sector. The investment in Jipue by Prosperity7 is also a testament to the shifting priorities of Saudi Arabia's economic policy. The kingdom is increasingly looking eastward for growth opportunities, recognizing the rapid advancements being made in Asian economies. This eastward shift is reflective of a broader trend among Gulf states, which are seeking to strengthen ties with Asian powerhouses like China and India to secure their economic futures. For Zipuii, the investment from Saudi Arabia provides a significant boost in both capital and credibility. It allows the company to expand its operations, hire more talent, and accelerate its research and development efforts. The influx of foreign capital also sends a message to other potential investors that Zipu AI is a serious contender in the global A. I race. This could lead to further investments from other countries looking to gain a foothold in China's AI. The strategic nature of this investment cannot be overstated. By supporting Jipu AI, Saudi Arabia is not only fostering technological innovation, but also gaining access to cutting-edge AI, technologies that could be applied in various sectors within the kingdom. These technologies could enhance everything from healthcare and education to logistics and security, contributing to the overall development goals outlined in Vision 2030. The decision to invest in China's AI sector is a clear indication that Saudi Arabia is willing to challenge U.S. sanctions and pursue its own strategic interests. This move is likely to inspire other countries to reconsider their positions and explore similar partnerships, potentially leading to a realignment of global tech alliances. The long-term impact of these shifts remains to be seen, but it is clear that the dynamics of the global tech industry are evolving rapidly. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.